Yeah, we need your head up. There we go. Bring the light down, Wilson. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Santa Maria Guadalupe is getting replaced. <laughs> This shot. <laughs> shot that. I pull up on your brim a little bit. Oh, I love that. What's up, guys? Jason Leonard here. I'm here in Gary, Indiana. We're at the Old Palace Theater doing a shoot today. I'm here with the beautiful Miss Maddie. Hey, guys. <laughs> I like the jazz hands. We're going to be shooting with the Neo 2. And that's what's illuminating us as we speak. Uh, we're going to show you the setup for this and uh, kind of jimmy rigging this uh, today and, and showing you some of the modifiers that we're adopting from the world of speed light modifiers to work with the Neo 2. And yes, to answer your question already, we are already, I'm already in discussions. I'm already talking with Rotolite about making these specifically for the Neo 2, which I think will be awesome. So let me show you guys what we have going on here. Here is the Neo 2 and here's I'm taking an old softbox that's meant for modifiers and use an S mount adapter here on the back. Now this fits snug right in here. You guys have seen me do this with other videos and now it just fits right in the back. So now we can illuminate the scene and throw the light really wide. So what we're going to do is uh, share a shoot with you with this unbelievable creature. And uh, tell us about your styling today, Miss Maddie. Uh, it's kind of a vaudeville silent film era. We were looking for a top hat, but we got a bowler, which is just as good. And the other thing that this does, guys, is it creates a catch light that's very large. So it creates an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous catch light in her eyes. So uh, we're going to share this with you and uh, get going. Warning. Entering abandoned buildings is dangerous. Know the risks and accept them before you do a shoot in them. All right, Wilson, take the light over there, brother. Right there, perfect. Put it on her. Oh, do that again, Maddie. Do that again. Eyes to me. Don't move. Get you, let's bring it around to this side. I'm cutting your feet off. No, actually, Scott, you can go over there. Eyes to me. Eyes to the light. Don't move. Right foot back down. Right. Yep, that's perfect. Nope, your right foot, right foot down is the best. And then, yep, I love that. Perfect. Bring the, um, and drop that knee into your leg. Perfect. Okay, now bring the light up. Maddie, you're gonna sit on the front of the piano right here. I'm gonna come down yeah, yeah. in there. Yep. When you guys and gals out there are shooting. Pick that light up a little higher, Wilson. Always look for the most efficient way to light your subject. It'll make you more mobile. You'll deliver more consistent results. And you will repeat and do that setup over and over again because it gave you great results with the least amount of effort required. Work smarter, not harder, guys. Maddie, bring the right hand over, honey. That way. The other way. There we go. Wilson, come bring the light this way. There we go. Just like that. That shot is... This has become my new go-to lighting setup. I use it for filming. I use it for shooting indoors, outdoors. Bring the light down. Wilson. It is unbelievable. The throw that it gives the light, the softness that it gives it, the catch light that it gives it, it is an absolute winner. Yeah, Santa Maria Guadalupe is getting replaced. <laughs> Dude. Let me see, let me see. Jason. I know. We're going to be in a magazine, right? We're all. Oh, this is in a magazine for sure. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. There we go. There we go.
Bring the toe, oh, that's awesome. Bring the toes back a little bit, if you can. There you go. Nope, you did, I liked it better the other way. Yep. This time, Wilson, I'm gonna have you go up there with the light. Come this way, Wilson. Put your head in your right hand. There you go. Yep, despair. Eyes up, eyes to me. For the camera at home, why am I not shooting flash? I don't need to. The LED's doing it. Don't overthink it, make it simple. Let's catch up on the piano again. Is it standing? Yeah. Okay, that leg, it looks so much larger than the other one. Whether it's shooting weddings, portraits in abandoned buildings, or simple lifestyle shots at a park, I have found that having a mobile run and gun setup is so preferable to a huge C-stand, light stand kind of combination. Okay, we're gonna do that again, but this time bring the light over this way. Cat, that uh, backlight coming in, it's, it's much more subtle in the back. That is making this amazing. Yeah. There will always be times where we need C-stands or light stands, but the truth is, for about 80% of what a lot of photographers do. Oh, well, you know, if, if you hug it and then the dust falls, that'd be amazing. A run and gun style makes more sense. I was gonna say, we have about 20 minutes left, so let's get up on the stage. Then no, we'll do take a booth, yep. This shoot's crazy. That sound you hear is my volunteer assistant Scott falling in the back of the stage where there was a hole in the floor. That's why we should all be using lights when we walk around. I leave this stuff in my video guys so you can see the real side of photography and you can know the risks. And hopefully it helps you guys out there so you don't fall in holes or damage gear and I can show you guys what it's like to really go out there and shoot in some of these crazy places. Whoa. Yeah, watch out your I'm left thinking, foot yeah. is where, yeah, if you want to. I got it. Yeah, you should probably get off of that. No, yeah, yeah. Come over here real, as quickly as possible. Like, no, no, do not step. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, your fingers got blown up. Oh. Your thumbs got. Oh. And look at your other finger. My thumb? Oh my god. <laughs> over here, Scott. I don't see anything. Well, I really don't. Yeah, I I, maybe it's just your thumb. Okay. Oh, come all the way here to kill myself. <laughs> okay, all you have to do is just film her. Okay, well now I know how you felt, almost. <laughs> well, minus the big disgusting gash, but yes. Okay. All right, 15 minutes left of shoot time. Yeah, Whoa. Whoa. This shot, <laughs> shut the, <laughs> you, need, <laughs> you need to move this way though, Matt. Right there, nope, a little further back. Right, yep, 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 perfect. And then I need the, Yep, either the cane in between, the bottom in between, and then out. No, I, I, I like the pose earlier. There we go. That cane that I referenced is actually a broken golf club that we found at the Goodwill just about 10 miles from this shoot location. Just come this way just a little bit. There you go. These need to be precise because I'm, trying, I'm keeping your whole body inside of that frame. So much of what we've been doing lately has been all thrift store type stuff and it's been an absolute blast. I, I, nope, go back like you were. Yep. One, two, three. I edited these in Lightroom and Photoshop and one thing you may notice is if you look at the stage where she's standing in the video you see graffiti. And even though I'll include graffiti in my other shots when I do abandoned places, I didn't want it for this hey, set. I wanted go. this Glorious set to be night. more untainted. So I just used the patch tool in Photoshop to get rid of that graffiti and it worked great. And I'm just thrilled with these shots. Maddie oh. did a great job. Those were so good. All right, let's go to the ticket booth. Yeah, no, this is a lot safer than... I include footage like this in my videos to remind photographers out there, especially the men, to be gentlemen to the ladies when you're out. These are people's wives, daughters, mothers. Take care of them. All right, here we go. Bring the light around this way just a little bit more. Right there. One, two, three. Using an LED in a scenario like this is phenomenal. 
Not only does it give me the ability to find focus and set my composition, but it gives me a production light for all of us to work with. Bring that right arm down, I'm losing it. There we go. Hit pull up on your brim a little bit. Oh, I love that. It's so multi-purpose, and it's so quick and efficient to get great shots. It's why I've used this method for years. These shots here of Maddie looking right into the camera are just nice great. Me. If you guys are struggling with your shots, focus on the eyes. Okay, let's get you in the middle of the door here. I'm not just talking about your camera. I'm talking about the way you connect with your subject. There we go. One, two, three. Earlier on in the video, we had a mix between the Neo 2 and natural light. Now, this is all Neo 2. <laughs> Put your arm around the door. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. A little bit higher, Wilson. Come this way. Just like that. One, two, three. Shine the light over through here, Wilson. I look towards the light now, Maddie. <laughs> All right, you want to go up top, Mad? Yeah, okay. if you're looking to spread the light even further, it's an S-mount adapter. This is typically what you put a, a speed light in. And um, it's meant to have this piece, for lack of a better word, shoved in there. Okay, then you put the speed light in here and you light. One of my buddies in Canada called me up and said, hey Jason, you know the Neo fits in that? I gotta try that. Gary Campbell, there's a shout out to you. You take the Neo, you shove this puppy in there. It fits like a glove. And now you have beautiful light. You have a beautiful portable softbox that goes wherever you need it to go. You guys should have seen the shots that we created with this last night. It's ridiculous, guys. I'm a model, I can't get alone? Let me check. Correct. Oh! <laughs> Life sucks for you. Are you actually still there? I'm talking to you. Guys, if you want to continue this madness online, go to patreon.com slash Jason Leonard Photography, and you can learn online with me anywhere in the world. Maybe even if you work at a bank. And if you want to see me in person, go to jasonlinear.com slash register and you guys can come to a workshop near you. If you don't see one that's near you, send me an email at jason at and we'll set one up. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Friend Art works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Awesome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Wonderful.